Okay, today we are going to make Milky Way Caramel Cheesecake Brownies. So, I have my Milky Ways all chopped up, and this is two cups worth. Buddy, please get down. I'm melting my butter in the microwave now. Okay, in our bowl. In the bowl, I'm going to put the melted butter, the sugar, and vanilla. So, we're going to put two cups of sugar. Try and point you down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. We're going to put two cups of sugar. If I can ever get it open. So, two cups of sugar in a bowl. Um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Which I also got to open. So a teaspoon of vanilla. Buddy, don't. You can sit right, you can stand right there and watch me. Just don't mess with nothing. And the butter needs to melt for a minute longer. You can do this in a stand mixer, but I don't have a stand mixer, so I'm going to use my hand mixer. about melted enough so we're gonna pour our melted butter in there buddy please get down and now we are going to mix that together that was um a cup of melted butter up here so he can see what I'm doing. He does this anytime I'm making something. This is funny. I know. Gotta make sure this is cool. Now we're gonna add four eggs but add them one at a time and mix them. Oh come on. That egg did not want to crack. Did you unplug me? No. Okay, it's working. You're not plugged in all the way. I'm not plugged. It's because this cord is crinkled up. It's broke right here. Yeah.
I glued it back together, but. No. When you get done, I'll look out and see if I can fix it. Okay. You just want to mix to incorporate your egg really good before you go on and add the next one. Egg number three. These are some huge eggs. And they're large, aren't they? Oops. I got an eggshell in it. We're going to add our last egg. Okay, now we are going to add our cocoa powder, three quarters of a cup, one, two, three, and we're going to blend that. It's kind of messy. Freaking cocoa powder flying all over the place. It smells good though. Okay, that's well mixed. Take a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So we're going to add a cup of flour and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're going to mix that well, but don't over mix it. Just mix it until it's combined. And that is the brownie part. Now we have to wait to work on the cheesecake part. Um, now we're going to do the cheesecake layer. I have two 8-ounce packages of cream cheese in here. And I'm going to add 2 thirds cup of sugar. Too much. And a teaspoon of vanilla. <clears throat> and 
and we're going to cream this together before we add the um, eggs. I'm going to start adding the eggs. Son of a bitch. I thought I was recording that and I wasn't. Okay, so I added my eggs, to, um, two eggs, one at a time, and creamed them in, and this is what the cheesecake layer looks like. Now we're going to add our brownie to a foil-lined 9 by 13 pan. Um, reserve a third cup of the brownie batter, and also... It takes a quarter teaspoon of salt, but I forgot to put it in, so I'm not going to worry about it at this time point, since it's already mixed, all mixed together. We're just gonna spread that out in the pan. That was me. Now on top of that, we're gonna pour our cheesecake batter. Maybe not. I'm gonna need a spoon. And then spread it out. Now we're going to sprinkle the top with our Milky Ways. I'm going to chop these, but I left them sitting together. So they kind of all stuck together. Hello, Stuart. Sheldon, I'll be your grandpa. Yes, I'm attending a party this weekend for a 93-year-old woman. Can you recommend a gift? Silly wearing that without the rest of the costume. Oh, sorry, Sheldon, that's it. That's all I got. No. 
know, it's not your fault. I've been to the model train store, I've been to Radio Shack. This one's impossible to shop for. <laughs> I make fun of Sheldon for having girl problems. If I wasn't in the shop, that Sheldon has girl problems. <laughs> now, let me go ahead and mock. Like my daddy always said, Shelly, women aren't anything but flipping pains in the butt. <laughs> That's what your father used to say. Well, I took out bad words and said, yee haw, but you get the gist. <laughs> If you don't want to go to the party, you just don't go. You're a grown man. Act like one. Tell Amy you want to spend the weekend having a sleepover and playing video games with your friends. <laughs> now maybe she'll dig it. Women like a firm hand on the pillow. I can never find the pillow. <laughs> I bought a book. The oven is preheated to um, 350 degrees. Now we're going to take our one cup of reserved brownie mix and drop it on top with a spoon, just in different sections. Now we're going to take a butter knife and kind of swirl the um, brownie and cheesecake mixture that's on top. Just to kind of combine it some. And this is how it looks. Now it's going to go in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes and then I'll show you how it look when, looks when it's done. The finished product almost looks more cake-like, but it's okay. Do you want a fork or do you just want a piece? I'm going to give you a piece of this one because I'm not going to eat all of it. Come over here so you can taste it and say if it's good or not. It's moist. For sure. It's a piece. I cut a piece off. Yes, of course I can. Alright, let me rephrase the question. Why are you wearing long underwear? You're kidding. Not too bad, is it? Shouldn't the question be why aren't you? No, it should be why aren't you? You're not getting none. These rental tuxedos have been worn by. So you think it's good? Okay, thank you. Release. Betty, release. You want dad to throw it? Release. Sometimes you gotta twist it.
see it. Yeah. <laughs> 